everybody, welcome to my channel for new battle report. This is the third and last practice game before WTC. I played uh, at least one of my training on a live table. Um, yeah, this was important for me to move physical miniatures just to get a good feeling with the list. It was a good warm up just two weeks before WTC. And I played against my usual opponent, Lichmeister. We don't play together at WTC, but he's in the Swiss team too. So also going there with his VC. So it was cool to try out, um, yeah, to bring both our WTC list and how they, um, yeah, match against each other, basically. So this is my list, you saw it in the introduction video. And this is Lichtmeister list, so very quickly, he has uh, two Necromancer, Master Evoke, Adept, Alchemy, with a third way to heal. Uh, three benches as piece of chaff, also um, had some shooting to the list, two blocks of skeleton, one bunker, uh, one piece of chaff, two unit of ghast with a cadaver wagon to boost their regen, a unit of range reaper with pet weapon and three vampire art as a mobile scoring unit, something that sometimes uh, VC lack in their list. So a very very solid list with uh, four piece of chaff basically that he can use. And then very solid unit that can uh, he can raise to a high number. Also, the gas are very hard to break through. We discussed a bit and decided to try old ground because it might be the configuration where we might clash the most, basically in comparison to stuff like uh, King or Secure that are easier to draw, also break through possibly a flag as well. So we decided to go for old ground. I debated a little bit about the choice of, and yeah, we tried marching column because it's always uh, nice to to train on that deployment that is a bit more technical than the other. Uh, my shaman debated a little bit the use of Wrath of God because he's quite resilient to range damage, but I thought it might as well just sometimes kill a couple of models that he m might need to raise and also could force the chaff to be activated or to die, basically. So it could force him to move some smaller units, thinking about the dogs here. And his list, yeah, he went, I think the, the strongest aspect of his magical setup is the double reroll to wound, basically, that he can get. Other than that, strong healing, some range damage, so, yeah, nice setup as well. Uh, matchup analysis, I think the secondary is in my advantage, in my advantage because if you compare, the, the solid scoring unit are in my list. He has solid combat unit, but they are not scoring, they are cast Wind Reaper, so it might be harder for him to score than for me. Also, uh, my chaff are scoring, his chaff is not, basically. Some of my chaff, basically my darts can be used as chaff and score at the same time. He has a very solid list, hard to break, so I need to choose where I want to fight and then buff the combat enough to go through uh, quickly enough, basically, to avoid him to heal too much. Triple Banshee can be an issue, I need to watch what he might do to chaff me. Uh, it will be hard to get some good openings because he has four pieces of chaff. I have the same number, so it might be hard to find opening in the center. I will try, obviously, to find opening with my single model in the flanks. And yeah, I don't see many good target for shooting. Basically, I will target the chaff or try to do it. And then basically position my mercenaries to, to be effective in combat as well. My estimation was, I think, a 12. I put that on the matrix for WTC, basically. A small win. Uh, he won the roll for side, took the one with the hill. We are playing between two impassable. Um, so he decided to take that side. Uh, and then I, deci I decided to start to drop from the right, put a giant down, a cat, and a frosty after deploying the rest down to start the game. Um, what surprised me a little bit, I would have expected him to put the vampire knights to counter my giant, basically, because I think they, are, yeah, they have a good chance to, to deal with him. Uh, he decided to put down the Ring Reaper, uh, after that he yeah, put the dog, he put the Ghast, and then the first block, and I had already the Frosty and then dropped. So we have my Merc Vets with BSB, Mage, uh, Bruiser, Bruiser, Tribesman, Tribe Star with the Great Can and Unit of Tusker to the left. He put from his left uh, three Vampire Nards, ch the Chaff Dogs, um, first Unit of Gats. Two of gas, two block of skeleton, the bunker in the back with the kind of a wagon, second unit of gas, and the Ring Reaper. So basically, we both need to use one very expensive unit to block a cheap unit. It could have been the other way around, could have been more interesting, so we'll see what happens. 
My turn one, yeah, that was also one of the reasons why I wanted to start, basically get board control, uh, put some pressure around the middle, make very hard for him to push forward, because one of the weakness of the benches is the fact they can only chaff 12, so I check carefully where I can chaff to make sure I can still charge out and threaten him, basically. I keep my Tusker a bit more back to basically zone his Vampire Nat as well. I want to yeah, keep them, I cannot avoid them going to my flank because it's 7 attack strength 7. Could break me easily, so I need to be careful about that. And my first magic phase, I get d6 plus 1, so end of even, and I kill, I did 6 wounds, so I roll like 7 hits strength 7. Things like that happen sometimes with end of even. Did 6 wounds, and then I did minus 1 resilience to the ghast, and did some wounds with the shooting. Basically, that was it. Uh, he's turn 1, he didn't move much, but put his uh, range reaper in a position to threaten my center. Uh, yeah, the ghast are on the hill, move slightly forward with them, the rest just shuffle a little bit around. In the magic phase, he was able to heal three wounds of the Wind Reaper. And then that's already my turn two. On uh, my turn two, I move my giant to the flank because he's not looking at me. So I try to apply some pressure there. Um, start to move forward with my Merc Vets and position my Frost Mammoth to have the aura to strike before him. Give him very long charges, and if he attempts them, he's likely to maybe get one, but most likely to fail both. And basically, if he if he gets the charge, I have a counter charge in the flank, and I will go before him and stand and shoot. So I should be fine. I go slightly more forward with both my um, small unit. One of the reason being I want to score, and second reason to bait him a little bit. Uh, basically, I want to secure the scenario early on. And then bait him for the charge and maybe get the, the chaff later on to be able to push more forward. But at the moment he's pretty cagey. He has still one, two, three chaff available for him uh, in the right area. Basically cover all three of my uh, strong scoring unit basically. In the magic phase I get another two wounds off with hand of heaven of the ring reaper. I get wrath of god off. I position that in the front of the chaff. I want to force him to activate it. Um, and then with shooting I do another 2 wounds to the Wind Reaper, so this is not bad, I kill a, a wall model again, but he has another time, uh, an, yeah, another option to heal them again. His turn 2, he decides to back off the Wind Reaper that I've suffered, a, yeah, they're missing like 6 or 7 wounds, try to heal them again and make sure that my giant cannot move around. Um, he decided to take a charge with the Ghast against my Bruiser unit, I decided to flee, that was the plan. Uh, because I couldn't afford him to just eat me and then uh, block these two units, so that's not possible for me. So he took the charge, I, fa uh, I fled, he decided not to redirect, which leaves me with an 8 charge. And his idea was that, that this unit can then counter charge uh, to the flank, basically making it hard for me to come, because if I don't get him in one go, which is likely uh, not likely to happen, there is no way I will get to 8 gas in one go with my mercs. Then basically he would just counter charge me and grind me down at some point. That's his plan. Um, other than that, yeah, he decided not to move despite the comet. Move them a little bit, but not much. And I get the first secondary point. In my round three, basically, I check that I can charge with the Merc and then with the dog that he's placed here with 16 due to his large frontage. I can be out of line of sight of them, chaff them, and make impossible for them to uh, charge my flank. Which makes the charge nice for me because I'm sure to get two good rounds of combat. And I made the math, I should be able to wipe them in two rounds. Uh, if I get mega lucky with some magic and I go through, then that's just the end of the game because there, there is a flank here, but that's not likely to happen. Uh, most likely he should be losing, we made the math like 16 wounds in the first round between the damage that I do and the crumble and it, sh it should do not much to me in return so I should be uh, fine to deal with him in two rounds and force him to react. Unfortunately for the interest of the game I failed that charge and after that as you can see he has plenty of charge that he can feed me. Uh, other than that yeah just back my giant a little bit because there is I couldn't escape his line of sight. I reposition my Tusker to continue to block him, continue to score some center points. Um, his, sh his turn 3. So yeah, since yeah, I was able to escape line of sight as well with the Frosty to still provide the range, make sure that if he charge, I go before him and I can counter charge. So obviously it doesn't charge, just reform that way. Uh, push the gas slightly forward, uses the lone remaining Wolf after the Comet 
to come here, chaff my ghast and decide to push forward with the VK, basically. Other than that, yeah, these guys still remain more or less the same position to block the giant to come around because it's still early on in the game. In this magic phase, um, yeah, and he activated the first piece of chaff to chaff the Merc Vets and make sure I cannot charge next turn. So, the opportunity was there, it won't be anymore. Um, he healed another 3 wounds of the Ring Reaper, did 4 wounds to my Merc Vets with the shooting. My turn 4. I uh, didn't charge a chaff because then he has some good charges from both these units, so I just move slightly back. Uh, we'll shoot this from short range, reposition the mage here uh, to get frontage on that if needed. Um, I use that as a bait for this unit in case he charge me that I can counter charge him. Uh, and I charge a chaff, reposition this unit, yeah, basically uh, just made sure that I should be fine, reposition the frosty, something that I do sometimes, basically give him a flank, but it's not possible to uh, clip me in the flank and force me to align, he cannot align as well due to impossible, so the charge is not possible to complete, basically. Uh, but I'm still in a position to be ready to counter charge his flank and give to myself the aura 9 inches, which is very nice, and also get some additional 2 shots for the Banshee in case it is needed. In the magic phase, I... I got nothing crazy off, uh, with my shooting I killed the Banshee, and that's it. And also I killed the Chaff, and here I had a creative idea that was not good, <laughs> basically. I decided, yes, since I'm within 8, it's a March check on a 7, no reroll, is likely to fail it, or he has a chance to fail it. So let's try to block his movement and make sure I can charge him and get his points. What I forgot is the fact that by activating this Chaff, the idea was also First of all, to avoid the double charge of these two pieces, and then I wanted the Tusker to still be a threat for the Ghast, which I forgot. So he charged my Chaff, passed his March check, and he could just escape my line of sight, because I positioned that way to try to block his non-March move in any direction. But yeah, I won't be in a position to punish his uh, charge of my Chaff, because basically my Death Star, I think it's not enough to break some Ghast, since I have only Strength 4 Tribesmen. It's only relaying on what does the Great Can, and pff, yeah, it's a very dicey fight, but most likely I will definitely be stuck, and then he will definitely be able to countercharge me, and I have no chaff to chaff all these units. So, yeah, there is no way I can engage to do that. Basically, which is a bit annoying. Um, what else? Yeah, he did some healing, he did some minus one resilience somewhere, and then um, with his shooting, he was able to do. A couple of wounds, again my Merc Vets, like another Merc that died, and this is my turn 5. So at this point I know I won the center, yeah I forgot to tell you, he killed two of these, leaving me with two remaining, and he passed his restrain check on a 7, that's also a huge risk in his list, because basically if he failed the check then he will just stumble forward, block here, and could maybe open a flank charge or something interesting for me, but in this case didn't happen, he passes his restraint on a 7, and I continue to flee. In my turn, I rally this guy on half leadership, 5 rollable, which is nice, activated a piece of chaff to correct my mistake, and position my Tusker in a way that I can get some charge off. Um, again, the position of the Tusker was not optimal, you will see after why. I backed off with this guy to shoot him, reposition the giant to threaten a bit the flank, but still be able to hide here, in case he decided to not offer me nothing, I don't see any good opportunity to charge something here. And I just don't want to give him any free points. Uh, magic phase. I got hereditary smite, the unbeliever, I think on this unit, just to make sure that he's not likely to kill me in one go. And uh, that was it. With shooting I'm able to kill another banshee, which is nice. His turn 5. Uh, I decided not to charge my chaff and to use it against me, which is smart because, yeah, I could have can't, uh, do a bit more about that. However, I still don't have any chaff well positioned. I should have also positioned maybe the dog to do something better, but I was. I needed to be careful because of the banshee that could shoot him and kill him. So, yeah, basically it's just a uh, low risk approach, but he just used me to not make me able to charge him in any good position. I dispel touch of the Reaper in magic and that's it. My turn. I just turn around, protect my remaining wounds, these guys are more or less dead, and that will be the end of the game. On his turn 6 he will charge me, uh, not kill me in one go, I will break, but he will run me down, and or I will just escape with 
two wood remaining and then give full points, something like that. So we take Bruiser, half of the Triton unit. I take uh, one unit of Vols, two Banshees, which is 10. And then I get secondary, which is 13, 7. I think by playing a bit better on the left, I should have been able to save all these points and then get um, basically 14. But yeah, it's not that important. Uh, post game analysis so yeah to start I think it was a good advantage for me on all the ground the fact that we both had four, th four piece of avail available chaff and solid list with high amount of health point makes that we don't have a lot of opening in this game and I think if I succeed in the charge of the mercenary stone tree it's a complete different game because like I said I forgot to tell you but he lost one of the rays Quite early on on the miscast, meaning he had only two rays left at this point. And I would have charged, he had no buffs on, I could buff my unit. I'm likely to deal with him in two rounds since I could bind um, one of the heal and then just um, yeah strike before him. Bind first heal and then dispel second one. And then basically he has only like a couple of gas left before the second round of combat. And then I just kill him second round and I have a free pivot. And then it's an open game because he can charge me with maybe not straight. But then I have to charge something. He can also maybe block me. And then uh, make sure that he can uh, grind me with something else. So the, the merc are in the game and then it's another uh, an open game. So for the sake of the training it would have been much much more uh, interesting if I would have made that 8 charge on 2 dice but uh, since I wasn't able to do it then it wasn't much action after that. My Tusker, yeah bad move turn 4. I thought I was going to, <laughs> I was smart by doing that, tried to punish his movement of the VK by blocking them, but that was just stupid. I forgot the fact that the idea was to chaff him and then be in, in a position to cha to punish him but I should have prepared better another piece of chaff for the middle maybe yeah I knew I, I didn't do something uh, crazy good on this left part but didn't cost me too much hard to hurt his VC list from distance obviously and yeah I think from the deployment he could have put the VK in a response to the giant uh, basically it's it's a bit funny to see that the VK block the Tusker in the game and that the Giant block the Ridge Reaper during the game. It's basically that. I think we could have had some other way to block that from the VC perspective mostly. Lack of counter charge could have cost the, the, the gas. Yeah, that was a mistake. He told me that he wanted, he told me after he wanted to make sure he could counter charge. Uh, but he should have made that clear or make sure that it works um, to make sure I couldn't charge before taking his own charge. Because that could have been the game, possibly. And yeah, chaffing with scoring unit obviously was a strength in this game. Because I was scoring at the same time that preparing possible available chaff. Which for him was harder to do because all his um, combat unit and chaff unit are not scoring. So that was also the difference why I won 13. So guys, that was it. That was my last training. Not much action, but still, yeah, good to get the feeling on the table again by moving the model and so on. Talk to you soon about the first game of WGC. Bye-bye.